Champions, the 2020 winners, Praveen Jordan and Nilati Diver Octavianti, the number five seeds this year, up against the Olympic champions, Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping. Well, when we look at the mixed doubles draw from the quarterfinal stage, six different nationalities, and as you can see, the a battle of the two Japanese pairs had been won by the defending champions. That was a repeat of last year's final, that all-Japanese affair. Watanabe and Higashino have come through against teammates Kaneko and Matsutomo. And uh, we witnessed the number one seeds, the world champions from Thailand, uh, coming through. And I can tell you uh, that the former champions, Sheng Shiwei, and Huang Ya Xiong. They won the title in 2019, having lost in the final the year prior to that. They are the Olympic silver medalists. They're safely through against Tang Kiang Meng and Lai Pei Jing. This is the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2022. Please welcome the technical officials and players on to court number one for the mixed doubles quarterfinal. Let's hear it for the number five seeds from Indonesia, Praveen Jordan and Malati Deva Octavianti. And their opponents, the number we three seeds from China, Wang Yi Liu Red. and Huang Dongping. So Black. as you can see, Go this choice. is the ninth meeting Serve. between these two pairs side, and of the previous receive. eight. Okay. Wang you. Lu and Wang Dongping have won six of them. But the most important thing is that Jordan and Octavianti have won the last two occasions. The last time was in the quarterfinal of these championships, the All England Championships, two years ago. Three games it was, 21-19 in the deciding game, an hour and 11 minutes. And of course, that year, Jordan and Octavianti went on to win the title. So whilst on paper the Olympic champions may seem favourites, that may not be the case. Praveen Jordan has actually won the All England Mixed Doubles title with two different partners. He also won with Debbie Susanto back in 2016, beating Fisher and Pedersen in the final. He's 28 years of age. He'll turn 29 next month from Bontang in East Kalamantang on the island of Borneo. And he and his partner are currently number five on the world ranking, have been as high as four, 39 weeks in total at number four in the world. Malati Diva Octavianti is 27 years of age, born in Sorang in West Java. And they are looking to reach a third semi-final as a pair at the All England Championships. Now, in the first round, they beat Batnaga and Cristo, winners of the Said Modi 300 event. And then they beat Hu Tang Rong and Xie Yi Si from Malaysia, also in two straight games. So to the Olympic champions and Huang Ilu is 27, as indeed is his partner. He's making his sixth appearance because he was in the quarterfinal in 2016 with Tang Jinhua. But he and Huang Dongping, who was born in Meishan town in Nanan city in Ready Fujian province, uh, they have been in four quarterfinals prior to this year, so it's their fifth All England and a fifth quarterfinal. They've never been beyond the quarterfinal stage, but they will be hoping to put that right this year. Mickelson and Sobu of Denmark, uh, they beat in the first round, very, very convincing in the second games, 21-4. And then Adam Hall and Julie McPherson of Scotland. And that's the Scottish pair. And the Danish opponents, both those matches won in 28 minutes. So David Evans from England is our umpire for this one. And an English service judge as well 
and that is Gavin Smith. Well, the Chinese pair, not only Olympic gold, two World Championship medals, a silver and a bronze, but never passed the quarter-final at the All England Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wang Yilu, Huang Dongping, China. And on my left, Pravin Jordan and Melanti Deva Octavianti, Indonesia. Huang <laughs> Dongping to serve to Melanti Deva Octavianti. Lavo, play. So it is the Olympic champions, the number three seeds. One Ilu and Huang Dongping, far side of the court as we look now against the Winners One, of the All England no. title two years ago, Jordan and Octavianti. Gosh, oh, no, we're only two rallies in, two but low. Peng Dong Ping looking awfully sharp at the moment. Got some heavy strapping on that right elbow. Service over. One, two. What a great serve. Service over. Three, one. Good return of serve. Service over. Now Two, this man, Praveen Jordanstein, has probably got one of the hardest smashes in the game, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think it is the hardest when he's got time. Yep. Sliced it a little bit there. Yes. Who else have we got? Yeah, we've got Lisi Jar, but that's a single Three, smash. Um, and I mean, in singles, you don't necessarily need maximum power. Placement is really important. Uh, short movement. Uh, Service Lisa over. Jiang certainly got that. Four, three. There's Jiang Siwei, Wang Yilu, they've got nice smashes as well. Yeah. So two very big smashes, the two men on court at the moment. Well, the injury is impaired. Service over. Four, In the four. new year, became independent. They were no longer invited to be part of the national team. So here's a little fun fact for you, Steen. This is the ninth appearance at the All England Championships for Praveen Jordan. The first was back in 2013. Reached the last 16 Five, as a qualifier four. with his now coach, Peter Marisa. <laughs> His yeah. former partner, now his boss. Not that coaches are bosses, but... Some are. <laughs> Ooh, that's gone yeah. way long. Service over. Five, all. from Praveen Jordan. Six, five. Oh. Fault. No. Service over. Fault. I called fault. Six or yeah, I think oh, it yes. touched um, 
It hits your you look and the no. umpire called it. One. Yeah. No, you cannot challenge a fault. <laughs> no, you can't challenge a fault. Quite right, umpire. Couldn't see it from that angle. No. But um, I was wondering even before I saw the umpire called it. No, he wasn't going to get forty so again over. for a different reason, obviously. Seven, six. Yes. Yeah, that's an initial backhand from. Wang Yi Lu created power with virtually no backswing of the racket. Loosening and tightening of the grip. Creating a lot of the power. Mm. Swing is gone, I'm pretty certain. Seven all. It's oh, a short lift. What a beautiful drop. Service over. Eight, seven. And that's the thing that also is um, similar to the three players that um, we mentioned as some of the hardest smashes. They, they've got extremely efficient um, disguised drop shots because their opponents have to respect their big smash, so they tend to move one step further backwards Service in their over. defensive stance. and. Thus, the drop shots become really efficient. Oh. Yeah, it was a nice angle from Praveen Jordan. Nine, eight. Over. Why do you think that Nine, this four. Chinese pair have struggled the last two times that they've played this Indonesian combination? Is there something in the styles? Difficult, um, difficult to say. I, I think uh, they are a um, sort of hit and miss combination. Uh, uh, Oxavianti and, and Jordan, if they really uh, play well Service and get over. the game going on their Ten, conditions. Nine. They're almost unstoppable because uh, yeah. he is so lethal, Praveen Jordan. And the thing is that they're very inconsistent, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I agree with that. So, if they're serving well, if Milati Octavianti is capable of uh, taking the net away from uh, Huang Dongping, which might easily have been the case, when was the last time they met? Last time they met was the All England quarter final. 2020. 11 9 yeah. interval. And adding to that, the Chinese had been in Europe for a long time there. They'd been camping in England because of the pandemic already in 2020. Yeah. Well, there is Vita Marissa, Brian Jordan's former partner, now their coach. Twenty seconds. Court one. Twenty seconds. Coach, return to your chair. Now this young Ming here is very particular in showing Wang Yilu what he meant, almost on court. I'm Eleven, not sure what he meant. Nine. <laughs> Play.
Service over. 10, 11. So in many ways, it's a, a mixed double, the Indonesian mixed doubles that's similar to Asan and Setiawan in, in playing style. They, they go so hard for the win. There, 11, for instance, Octavianti, she's not lifting. He's going for the net again, even if it's a difficult shot, but if it's successful, then it's a, a, a rally changer. Service over. 12, 11, yes. Service over. Service over. Oh. First of the match. Service over. 13, 12. Wow. 14, 12. That's terrific. Service over. And, and 13, there's almost no rallies. 14. Almost no rallies. No. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know what's the longest rally so yeah. far. It'll be very few. Oh, yes, well played. Up to the Service empty. over. 15, 13. And this is where Huang Dongping, she needs to be alert to the fact that Otsuyanti is going to play back at her. She is going to challenge. And they're not going to lift over. the Indonesians. 14, 15. It wide. Fifteen or oh. right level. Well, seen the answer to our question. Longest rally 16, so far is seventeen 15. shots. <laughs> yeah. And that's the longest, so the average is probably six, seven shots or something yeah. like that. Service yeah, over. 16, all. Side. Service over. 17. Nobody 16. wanting to lift the shuttle. Yeah. Everything flat over the net. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Just like a practice exercise where it's not allowed to lift. Yeah. 
Oh, the longest rally has suddenly increased. 18, 16. Only four shots. Five of the last six points to the Olympic champions. Let me see this quick back for that. <laughs> over, over. That was amazing. 17, 18. <laughs> Service over. 19, 17. Two-point advantage and two points away from the opening game. Champions. 20. Won't be surprised if that 17. was a new longest rally. Yes. Quality Babington. And game point opportunities. Three of them for the number three seeds, Wang Yi Lu and Guan Dongping. Oh, that was going wide. First of the three game points well saved Service by over. Jordan and Octa Vianti. 18, 20. Yeah, they are getting longer and longer, aren't they? Uh, one, 31 shots one. now. I think it's a good sign for Jordan and Otsurianti that the rounds get longer. I think the longer it gets, the higher probability that the Chinese are going to win. Yeah. Gosh, he took that early, that mid-court shot. He's like the court. Praveen Jordan. Really stepped into 19. it. 20. So two game points have come and gone. Just one more remains for the Olympic champions. All and extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Unless, of course, we got to 29 all, and then it would be sudden death. Oh, that's 
well wide. That's not even close. And on a run of four straight points, having saved 21. three game points, 20. now Praveen Jordan and Milati Daiva Octavianti have a game point themselves. Brilliant from Wang Yi Lu. Save is over. 21 all. A shot to try. 22. I'm not sure this 21. was the right moment to try it. So now a fourth game point opportunity for Wang Yi Lu and Huang Dong Ping. Call good. So this over. And there's no challenge from the Chinese pair. 22. Which makes me suggest that it must have been in. Yeah. No, it yeah. Not. Yeah. Good call, line judge. Those ones aren't easy. To the anti. Yes. Please wipe the door. Thank you. Oh, this is really developed in some twenty three, some twenty two rallies. And it's the second game point opportunity now for the former champions. Opportunity. Service over. Comes and 23. Oh. Rather too quickly. It was the easier shot that Praveen Jordan missed. So a fifth game point opportunity for the Olympic gold medalists. to the delight of Wang Dongping. 25-23, the opening game. One on their Wang fifth Dongping. game point 25, opportunity. 23. Oh, my goodness. Well, we had some short rallies to start with, but that opening game just got better and better. Confirmation of the scoreline. 
25-23 in 23 minutes. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game. Level. Play. Well, what an opening game that turned out to be. Number three seeds, the Olympic champions, Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping, coming through in the end. Service over. One. Uh, I can love. understand why she celebrated so much Huang Dongping because she was a little. I, I think I really think she's feeling uncomfortable on court. Um, or intimidated by the Indonesian play, but she played really well on that last rally. But it's not a game that she's um, enjoying or, or um, really uh, good at. I mean, it's much more, it's not like the mixed doubles that she's learned, where the Indonesians, they go so uh, totally committed for the things that would um, be in, in, um, in favor of them. There's no, uh, they're not playing defense. Um, I'm not even sure they, they would be very good in defense, the Indonesians, but they just Three, get the game going on their conditions. Yes. And, and that's that means that Huang Dongping, we saw her at the Olympics and, and also uh, in some of the tournaments after the German Cup, she was brilliant. Mm. But she hasn't really been in um, this match here. This is a good start by the Indonesians because I have to love. be honest, Steve. Uh, during the two minutes interval there when the players changed ends, uh, it was going through my mind that I felt it was more important for the Indonesians to win that opening game. And the fact that they hadn't managed to do that, I feared that their heads might go down a little bit, but not a bit of it. No, and, and um, I also expected love. the Chinese to grow in confidence and sort of um, um, play better shots than they've had because of um, this one game in the back, I think. Yeah. But um, strong comeback from um, Jordan and Melazzi, who is sort of benefiting that. Um, it's difficult to play their back Service line. Service over. One, five. Served, didn't it? Two, five.
service over. Uh, you're right, Steen. It is Six. Huang Dongping Three. who is really struggling today. Uh, I, I, I just think she's not used to this all or nothing style. And she doesn't get into any rhythm. If it's flat game, most of it is played past her. Not this time. That's excellent play, though. Yeah. Service over. There's, uh, there's no doubting her Four, capabilities. I mean, you don't suddenly become a bad player overnight. No. Um, she's uh, just struggling for some reason today. Yeah, and, and if, if the shuttle uh, has the right pace past you, then she's learned that don't go for those, leave them for your partner. And then suddenly there is a shot where Service she's over. a little bit late. Yeah. Yes. And probably should have left it for her partner. Yeah. Seven, four. Yeah, he was right there. In fact, he was already playing the stroke. Look. Service over. Five, seven. Yeah. Lucky neck cord. Maybe it's not lucky, maybe it's practice skill. Six, seven. Service over. And Eight, Melati is, is beating Huang Dongping at the net. She's beating a lot of players at the net, Octavianzi, because that's all she focuses on. I think perhaps the, uh, uh, the champions should have flicked a bit more to uh, Octavianzi in the Seven, first game where they were Eight. playing up against the drift as an investment in the future. Service over. There's the Nine, use of the mid court four. area. Just guiding the shuttle in a downward direction, making the shuttle land in front of the rear court player. Great tactic. Service over. Yeah, that's another good use Ten, of the mid court area. Four.
the power play was coming into the rally from Praveen Jordan. One favoured the Indonesians, even though they've been under severe pressure for an awfully long time in the early stages of that last rally. But it is the former champions, Jordan and Octavianti, who have the one-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the second game. Twenty seconds. 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 Eleven, ten. Play. It's gone long. Service over. Eleven, all. placement from uh, probably yeah. Jordan on that cross. 12, 11. You see Huang Dongping is going for it, but she can't reach it. <laughs> and the return of serve deflected serve by the net court. 12, oh. went on that final smash from Praveen Jordan. 13, 12. Uh, very, very unfortunate. Looks certain to win the rally. the lead. They've only been in the lead once in this second game. It's gone wide. 14. Is it 9 8? And I just sense, Steen, that the Indonesians have to be awfully careful here. Just sense that they've got to keep it tight. Yeah, they can they can manage um, two point down, maybe even three, but four or more, then it becomes difficult because I mean they would have to play absolutely perfect to uh, catch up. And uh, the, the playing style is a lot uh, around the 50-50 situation. That's also, I think, why um, when they've struggled wow. um, at the Olympics or World Championships, so Diamond Cup, they didn't play well uh, last year. Because what happens when you have this playing style and you get a little bit tensed, when there's a little bit of pressure, then suddenly a lot of... Or, Enough of those shots that uh, should uh, make your bread and butter. They're staying on your side. 13, 15. Good shot. Oh, well played. Not only 14, the interception, but 15. the placement of this yes. final shot. Please wait for court. Very good indeed. One. Thank you. 
Thank you. Back on court. Efficient backhand kill yeah. from Octavianti. Oh. So back level. Oh. Oh. That's a pity it didn't come <laughs> over. 16, that would have been an amazing 15. shot. Yeah, sort of ran too far past the shot yeah. and, and then tried to round the back backhand. Outmaneuvered. Wangi Lu at the back of the court. 16 all. Trick shots. I think this was the best rally 16, of the match. 17, 16. Excellent play by both pairs. One, one, stay on the court. Drive from Praveen Jordan. 17 all. What the drive serve? Yes. Because she cannot, she can't possibly feel uh, sort of uh, on top of her game, and then still having the guts to play the drive serve with the drift. That is, um, that's amazing. Totally stopped. Save the silver. 
18, 19. Sight of the shuttle in the lights, or not happy about something. <laughs> Back level once more. <laughs> yes. Nineteen. Oh. Crucial serve. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Service over. You could just sense it. I could sense it coming. What a 20. pity for the Indonesians. Match point. 19. Match point gifted with the service error. Final with the Olympic champions Wang Ilu and Huang Dongping coming through against the former champions from two years ago, Praveen Jordan and Melati Daiba Octavianti. Match one by one. Well, what a thrilling Huang match Dongping. it turned out to be. 25 23, 21 19. The umpire just confirming that scoreline. That thrilling opening game 25 23. One on their fifth game point opportunity, having saved two game points as well. Second game, 21-19. And they are through to the semi-final in 47 minutes. Their first All England semi-final, where they will meet <laughs> the former champions, Chen Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong in a repeat of the Olympic final. And their confirmation of that scoreline, 47 minutes in total for the match. And for the first time tomorrow, the Olympic champions will contest an All England semi-final.
So just one more quarter final to come at this year's Yonex All England Championships. And it's the last of the men's singles quarterfinals. It's a repeat of the Asian Games final in Jakarta in 2018. It's Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. The beaten finalist here at the All England two years ago up against the Asian Games gold medalist Jonathan Christie of Indonesia.